What is going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. So in addition to iOS 18.4 RC or release candidate builds, we did just receive watchOS 11.4 RC as well, plus a slew of all the other main product updates for their software that Apple provides. And I do just want to take a quick second to let you know a couple of items here. Obviously, we know that Unfortunately, watchOS 11.4 has no new Apple intelligence features here. It is kind of stuck being very stagnant. And unfortunately, that seems to be how it's going to remain for a little while now, at least until possibly watchOS 11.5 comes out or 0.6, even possibly watchOS 12 in June. But we'll have to see. Really quick, jumping right into it, let's talk about battery life. And battery life on beta 4 was awesome. It's probably the best battery life we've received in a beta or any public release in a long time. So I'm hoping to see that the RC keeps to that pattern. We'll have to see. Obviously, it's way too soon to say right now, but at least if beta 4 was any inclination of it, we should be looking very good for battery life for those of you that have been having issues. So we'll jump into this here in one second, but I do just want to hop into the app here and show you under general and about this build for the RC is 22T250, and barring any second RC that's going to be dropping in another week or so for the release, we will talk about that, but this should be the public release number as well. Speaking of which, let's talk about this release because it's somewhat a little surprising we didn't get a Beta 5 and we got an RC today because we do still have another Monday in March. And the reason I want to kind of pump the brakes and pause, hope that this will be released early, whereas Apple said originally the beginning of April we'll get this, we could still receive a second RC build here on the 31st rather than the public release. So just keep that in mind, but I do think it's safe to say here now for certain by April 7th, this should be released to the general public. So not too much longer to wait, but again, as Apple has done and as we've discovered recently, there have been so many bugs in these betas that this possibly could only be the first of two release candidates. Now, having said that, you do have a couple of new things here. It's compatible now with the new emojis that you saw. And if you didn't see that, I can show you from iOS if you actually have updated here as well, there's seven new emojis here that the watch is now capable with. The face with the bags under its eyes, a harp, a root vegetable, a leafless tree, a splatter, and a shovel. Uh, you can kind of see there what they really look like. Not groundbreaking, but it is something new nonetheless. What we don't have still though is really any Apple intelligence features. No update to the app here to show Apple intelligence at all. It is still showing old school Siri. Again, not surprising, but I do just want to call that out for anyone that might be waiting and has waited to see what Apple dropped for the RC before updating. I will say we did have one issue with beta four where watch OS did restart once and it took about five to six minutes to restart. It was very, very weird. It was not timely as you would anticipate a quick restart to be. It took quite a bit of time. Aside from that, I have had some issues where the auto dimming or where at least on our ultra here, it would transition into that comfort level red read mode. Um, when you lifted it up and down, it kind of wouldn't trigger off. And when it didn't, sometimes it would overlap both of those modes. So you'd have your full color and that red hue overlapping. Hopefully that's been resolved here as well. But aside from that, really, Beta 4 was pretty solid. So I'm hoping that one restart that we had was a one-off. I'm excited to put the RC to the test and really looking to move beyond watchOS 11 in all capacities to hopefully see some growth from watchOS in watchOS 12. One other call out, again, not surprising since this is the RC build, there are no new watch faces here. Everything's the same as it has been. Apple hasn't even thrown in any new watch faces for watchOS 11.4, so don't look for any of that here either. But aside from that, we'll keep this short. That's it for this one, guys. Let us know in the comments down below, what are you hoping for for watchOS 11.5 or even looking more forward to watchOS 12? Thanks for watching. We'll catch you in the next one. Peace.